Okay, so uh, this is uh, a little bit of a, a how-to video about creating video marks on the new Wild Earth Beta website. Right off the bat, you can only create a video mark in the archive. So you've got to click over here on the archive up at the top. Uh, and then uh, you'll be brought to the archive page. And uh, what you do is you come down and select from the drop-down menu a cam that you'd like to see the archives for. So I've chosen Juma Waterhole. And uh, there we go. We've got, uh, we've got a bunch of things. And the first thing that you can do is you can see this over here is the thumbnail matrix. So the default is one thumbnail from the archive every hour. And straight away, I can see that there was a big herd of buffalo that came down to the waterhole this afternoon at 5 o'clock. So I'm going to change the frequency. You can choose uh, the frequency of the thumbnails. You can choose 30 minutes, 10 minutes, 5 minutes, even 1 minute. I'm going to go down to one thumbnail every 10 minutes. And I know I'm looking for that, that buffalo herd at, uh, for, oh, already I can see there was a hippo out walking around in the middle of the night. But I'm carrying on to, uh, to the buffalo herd who we're going to, oh, look at that. Wow, that was, that was a big sighting. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose an early part of it, so quite early in the, in the sighting at exactly 5 o'clock. You click on the thumbnail and straight away you, uh, you get the video playing up in the video player. And uh, I'm going to, you can scrub, so you can, you can move along to a little bit later in the video, so that you can see what's happening there. But I'm going to start quite early on. I'm going to start right at the beginning of the video. As they were coming down. There we go. That's where we want to be, right at the beginning. And I'm going to create my video mark. And you do that by, by clicking on the Create Video Mark button. And uh, up at the top, the first thing you have is the title. So, you know, this has got to be descriptive, and it also later becomes part of the unique URL for the video mark. I'm going to call it uh, Big Buffalo Herd at Gowry Dam in the late afternoon a big herd of buffalo came down for a drink so the description is quite important this this obviously helps your viewers understand better what it is that's in your video mark then the tags is really important now as you start typing the the you should be given some options these are cape buffalo and these options come from the official tag list you can see there's a number next to it tells us what number that tag is and only tags from the official list can be used uh, and then we're going to choose maybe another one like uh, gauri let's go for gauri dam should pop up gauri dam there we go and it's at juma so let's get Juma. There we go. And these tags are important because it helps for search, for everyone else to search for it, but it also allows for people to come and actually, um, and, and on the Google and so on, that you can actually find it that way. When you're done with that, you press Save Video Mark. And uh, what is happening now in the background is that the server is actually creating a brand new unique URL. So this this each each video mark has its own unique page, uh, which gets created, um, and you can see that here's my name for having created it. I'm the creator and always be the creator. Here are the tags that I put in. You can see it was recorded on Juma Waterhole um, today at just before five o'clock. Um, it currently has only one follower when that when that loads up, which is me. You automatically follow your own video marks when you create them. Uh, those people that follow video marks, that means that everybody that comments on that video mark um, going forward, will, th those comments will show up in your private news feed. Um, and, uh, and there you have it. That's how you create a video mark. 